The first thing Quentin does besides have you read this script is he gave us this immense backstory and biography of not only our individual characters, but our relationship together, our history so detailed. together. As two sort of outsiders in the industry that are trying day by day to be successful. So having grown up in this town, getting all that reference and being able to work with Brad, I think the first day there was just this automatic understanding of who these types of men were and how they relied on one another implicitly to survive and navigate through this industry. 1969 was not, not just a seminal year as far as uh, changing cinematic history, but the world. I mean, so many radical movements and things were happening during that time period. It's a, cinema, a truly cinematic experience, and I know it because I was fortunate enough to see it in person, but these sets aren't added in post. These, these aren't, this isn't a CGI feel. I, there was no green screen. There was no, we'll make it look like 1969 later. Just use mm -hmm. your imagination for now. I was there, I got to see it, and I'm telling you, when you sit there, you can feel the authenticity. You are truly transported to 1969. He gives us this sort of time warp, but also mixed with that Tarantino sort of fairy tale aspect of it, too. It's this nostalgic look back at a time and what could have been through the eyes of guys that are on the daily grind just trying to make ends meet.